So we come to the next threatened species, which will be presented by Filippo Bozzetti, who is uh, working on uh, several threatened species in, in Italy, but particularly currently on Soneriana mamorata. Thank you, Axel, for your introduction, and uh, good afternoon, everybody. I will talk about uh, the Unariana marmorata. Uh, this uh, species uh, it is uh, listed uh, in the um, red list of Autoptera by the IUCN as endangered and uh, was uh, thought to be extinct uh, since uh, um, its discoveries and uh, since uh, few um, collectings in the early century. Uh, then a uh, population was uh, discovered, uh, rediscovered by Roy uh, in the 90s and um, uh, this instigated further uh, researchers uh, by uh, other orthopterologists in Italy. And uh, in, after an, um, a national plan uh, by the IUCN uh, for Italy and for this species, uh, um, we have been able to find other subpopulations where this species uh, it still occur and is abundant. In um, 2016, we had a um, result of uh, researches uh, with uh, about uh, six uh, eight to eight uh, active subpopulations in Italy and uh, mostly on the coast of Adriatic Sea in uh, northeast Italy and one uh, population in Slovenia in the inland of Slovenia. Uh, then we uh, started uh, um, more deep researches uh, uh, thanks to financial support by Mohammed bin Zayed uh, Conservation Fund and um, we had the possibility to um, investigate uh, each population or subpopulation um, at the bioacoustic level and uh, at the uh, population density level. Um, here you have two pictures. If you compare the picture on top of the slide, uh, you see a um, heterogeneous uh, locality with uh, more than one habitat. Uh, but uh, this is not uh, a uh, positively heterogeneous uh, habitat uh, as uh, Thomas this morning stated. Uh, because uh, in this locality, the Unariana marmorata lives only in the high herbs uh, on the right of the picture and uh, can walk in the, um, in the shrubs uh, and in the uh, tree uh, habitat uh, crossing this uh, uh, low grass uh, uh, field that is uh, crossed by cars and by um, mechanics for land movement. Uh, so all the individuals that goes through this, uh, uh, this uh, uh, part of the locality will be possibly killed. Uh, instead, if you look at the picture on the bottom of the slide, you see a very homogeneous uh, habitat uh, where the species is very abundant and is safe. It is a very coastal habitat and very large uh, that hosts a very dense uh, subpopulation. Uh, so now we can uh, have the first uh, uh, assumption that uh, even if we, have, we are worried about uh, the restriction and the fragmentation of habitat, um, we can uh, assume or, or at least uh, hope that even uh, small suitable habitat can 
exposed uh, uh, population of these species. And uh, so we have um, uh, checked the uh, number of individuals for each population. Here you can see also the morphological features of uh, the species that is from the handbook of Italian Autoptera that was recently published. And um, the population trends uh, of the world known localities uh, is, uh, it shows uh, uh, a very different uh, pattern. And uh, we can only say that uh, maybe because uh, we are uh, uh, thinking about uh, three, uh, three years uh, of results, uh, there are two populations that are increasing. Um, then, uh, after uh, spreading the voice between uh, colleagues uh, and other uh, entomologists, uh, um, some found uh, another population, very new, very large and very dense in a uh, number of uh, individuals, that is located in the um, Italian inland, in a very large river that uh, goes uh, to the Po River, that is the largest Italian river, uh, in uh, a park, uh, not a national park, but uh, a protected area, the Mincio Park. And uh, so we uh, get the second, uh, second result that uh, is that uh, uh, we uh, confirm, we can confirm that uh, uh, this species is uh, more uh, uh, present than we thought before. And uh, that um, protecting and managing uh, natural or semi-natural areas, it can be uh, posit positive for uh, uh, species uh, uh, richness and uh, um, species protection. So this is the new locality from uh, Parco del Mincio, and uh, you can see a very, uh, very large uh, um, meadows of uh, Molinia, this uh, uh, tall grass uh, that uh, hosts a very dense population. Um, in the last year, um, other uh, localities along the Mincio River has, have been uh, investigated uh, and uh, uh, we have found more populations not so far from this new one, but, uh, um, but uh, not uh, connected at least, uh, at least uh, for what we know now. Um, we have analyzed uh, the song uh, of all, uh, all, almost all the populations that we surveyed and uh, we found that the song is um, quite uh, similar, that there are no um, appreciable uh, differences. And uh, uh, then, uh, uh, despite uh, that uh, uh, some uh, get, get to get in touch with uh, offices uh, and uh, get uh, all the necessary bureaucracy during COVID emergency, it has been a challenge. Uh, we had uh, some interest uh, from uh, newspapers uh, and uh, the um, Na Natural Park Organization of Italy uh, and other uh, institutions. Uh, uh, we, we had interest in sharing uh, our results and uh, our projects uh, because um, it was uh, found very um, very interesting that uh, this uh, species, especially in the last locality, was found not looking for this species, but lo looking for butterflies. And um, so we are uh, planning uh, for our future and the future of uh, this species. We will continue the acoustic comparison on uh, the Uneriana marmorata uh, for the known populations. Uh, we are planning uh, the translocation of individuals from uh, uh, the Caneo locality to uh, Schiavetti 
and will monitor uh, uh, other populations. Um, the, the, um, um, the translocation was made already last year. So this year, next summer, we will check if it was successful or not. Um, the, we will have uh, two students from Turia University in the field uh, this year to carry out uh, all the field, uh, field activity. Um, e as you can see in the picture, um, there are uh, patches, uh, there are suitable habitats uh, and localities in the region where uh, these uh, populations are present, but uh, the, all the populations are uh, um, isolated and uh, are uh, surrounded by hostile habitat. And uh, as you know, uh, this is the very the first step uh, to extinction for a species: the habitat uh, lo lo distribution, fragmentation, and uh, uh, disappearing of uh, small population. Uh, then we will uh, enhance uh, public awareness uh, with uh, information panels uh, and uh, information uh, workshops. We will build uh, fences not to uh, avoid that uh, insects, uh, that uh, the grasshoppers, the crickets um, move, but to avoid that people and the cars goes, uh, goes inside the locality where the the insect uh, leave, and uh, we will organize a meeting uh, between uh, Italian and uh, uh, Slovenian uh, researchers uh, to, to share our experience. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, Filippo. Are there questions from the audience? Dragan um, okay, um, Have you checked the po uh, delta for um, possible occurrence of the species? I think it's quite a vast territory. Or do you think there are um, habitats uh, for this species there? Uh, yes, uh, yes. Uh, I think Anya checked the um, the delta po the delta of the Po River, but without success. Uh, but um, um, I must say that there are many uh, apparently suitable habitats uh, and localities that uh, they don't host these species. We don't know why. Maybe this is related to the, um, some microclimate uh, condition that affect the, present, uh, the presence of uh, the species. Actually, uh, I, I think she found one population south of Venice y yes, during her last yes, year. Maybe, so, maybe yeah, one is there still. I th but, is far from yeah. Delta. but many of these populations are extremely small. Yeah. So this is why you can probably find still some. <laughs> yeah. And, well, I think the bioacoustics really helped to, to find it. Yes, yes. Most are surveyed by ear yeah. because uh, it is very difficult to catch, to collect the specimen. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think we have to move on. Thank, Thank you very you. much.